Hi, it's TT here from My Sacred Blood. Welcome or welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that focuses exclusively on truly holistic menstrual care. It's been a while since I've posted a video here on YouTube, but I am still active on the website. So go to mysacredblood.com to become a member so you can stay up to date. If you are already watching this from the website, consider becoming a member or joining the mailing list by filling out that little form below. In this video, we are going to be dissecting, quite literally dissecting, graphene sanitary pads. And we're also going to explore some of those claims that these pads have enough power to light up a light bulb. I've talked about these pads in previous video, so you can check that one out here. But these pads are being made using a newly developed uh, piece of technology known as graphene. Graphene, which is made up of thin sheets of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal pattern, is said to be the thinnest and also the strongest material in the world. It's also considered the best known conductor of electricity and heat. And as far as Juul is concerned, they claim that their pads are infused with this graphene material and that infused graphene strip may provide various health benefits that potentially help to relieve painful abdominal cramps, help to balance the body's pH, help to eliminate harmful bacteria with aroma, fatigue, metabolism, immune system, and graphene moves heat away from your core and contains vibrational energy. There is another producer are out there who makes similar claims. Uh, they claim that the benefits of these graphene enhanced sanitary products is that it reduces the abdominal cramps during menstruation. It can absorb five times more fluid than traditional pads. It possesses anti-cancer effects. It contains no harmful chemicals, toxins, bleaches, or perfumes. It's the thinnest nanomaterial that can be used in sanitary products. It can be washed and reused more than 20 times. I didn't quite understand that, but okay. And it is eco-friendly as it starts decomposing within six months. And it eliminates allergies and infections. Now, I don't know how it intends to do all that. It does sound quite interesting though. All right, so these are the rain sanitary napkins. The packaging's beautiful, the price is decent, but this is not a review of the brand. This is a review of graphene pads in general. It's just I happened to see this one first, but I chose the very light and then I also got the overnight for the super heavy flow. I was kind of going for what I thought would be the least absorbent to what I felt would be the most absorbent. All right, so this I thought was very interesting to have a mission statement on the packaging. I thought that was cute. So their mission or their goal is to bring light to a taboo subject of female cycles that has silenced females from all cultures to speak out. And I would have rather seen a little bit more information about the graphene, but let's continue. So this is what they look like in comparison to each other as far as size goes. So the largest one is about the size of a ruler and then the smallest one is less than half that size. All right, so let's slice this thing up and see what we got going on inside. Please do excuse the nail polish. I painted it real quick for this video, which I probably should not have. It did not dry well and it was a mess. But let's focus more on the lining, which is just one thin layer of graphene. You can see how thin that is there. All right, so even the company itself, Juul, claims that this thing can light up a light bulb. This is a 40 watt light bulb and I'm going to try pressing it against a dry strip, which does not work. They say you have to add water, so I am going to go ahead and do that. And that doesn't seem to work either. I'm going to try it again because it might work because 
the whole thing has to be connected. I'm not sure, but let's give it a second go. So I'm gonna try it dry once again, just mostly just to prove it doesn't work. And the reason I keep moving it about is because I've seen some demonstration and someone was rubbing the light bulb and that's what made it light up. It did not work when they kept the light bulb still, but all that movement does not work either. As you can see, dry or wet, moving or still, it just does not light up this 40 watt light bulb anyway. It's a 40 watt LED. Maybe it just does not have enough power to do that. Let's move on. All right, so I've got here my possibly real, possibly fake menstrual blood inside my diva cup so what i'm checking here is if this pad will be able to absorb the same amount that a full diva is able to collect i actually really love the way that it goes right through those holes i think all pad companies should design their pads this way with that netting i'm actually impressed now I did try on the pads, but I did put a liner, a natural care liner over it because I just wasn't comfortable having this thing have direct contact with my skin. They are still being tested, but that is it for this one. I do hope that helps or it gave you something to think about if you were considering or if it's the first time you're hearing about these graphene sanitary pads. Until the next one, take care of yourself.